<laughs> you know who it is, and you know what time it is. Time to piss off some feminist trad cucks and whoever don't want to know the truth. Oh well, let's get started. What is going on, gents? It's RPM here, reporting from Mobile Command. As things start to open up out here in California and the potential for the mask mandate being rescinded, yeah, I know there's going to be a lot of horrible grills put back on display to which I would say some people should keep the mask on. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, I know I ain't shit. But in keeping my eyes and ears wide open and just observing women, I've noticed a subtle change in several women as of late. Now, I couldn't quite put my finger on it because the actions that some women are starting to take now. However, this article might be a good explanation as to the subtle changes that I've been noticing as of late. Now, this article was published on the 12th of May. Quote, unquote, honesty bombing is the new post-quarantine dating trend. Now, it starts off with a write-in to a Dr. Jen. Dear Dr. Jen, now that I'm fully vaccinated, I've started getting back into the in real life dating game. Gentlemen, we know that dating is pretty much dead. It is dead as a doornail. But after taking the past year off, I'm finding that my ability to make small talk and present an Instagram perfect version of my life is gone. I spent a good part of this pandemic alone or with close family and it made me clear that I want a life partner and don't want to play games. Hmm, interesting. I don't want to waste time, but I don't want to scare away a potential partner on date one either. In this post-vax dating world, honest is too honest. Life is too short. Now, I find this extremely interesting. Now, for the longest, women, believe it or not, via social media, have been brutally honest. But a lot of men were not ready to accept that female honesty. Now, here's the answer from Dr. Jen. Dear life is too short. There is nothing like losing a year of your life to a pandemic to make you reevaluate what you want in a relationship and cut to the chase when speaking with a potential partner. People are done wasting time. So as bars and restaurants reopen and people return to dating, the trend is going to be more honest conversations, whether that's about the desire to have children or other wants and goals that usually don't come out on the first date. This new trend is called quote unquote, honesty bombing. Cutting through the bullshit is a positive. Life is too short for playing games and surviving a pandemic that has hit home for many. Yes, there's always the danger of overwhelming your date or going in so deep and so fast that it creates a false sense of intimacy. But overall, this trend is towards, or excuse me, this trend towards authenticity is a positive. It will help people figure out if they are compatible much faster. My, my, my. So this is what it's coming to, gentlemen. 
However, as positive of a trend as this sounds, this is going to require women to actually be honest and accountable for their decisions. And we all know that accountability is a woman's kryptonite. <laughs> but, gentlemen, but if you still plan on entering that minefield called dating, even though I'm going to reiterate, in my humble opinion, dating is dead. And I'll give you the perfect reason as to why dating is dead and relationships are pretty much in the toilet. Two things have been irretrievably broken. When it comes to women, women don't respect men. Men don't trust women. Until those things can be repaired, then guess what? The relationship market, insofar as for the control of men, yeah, that's going to be pretty much closed. Now, the sexual market, hey, you can get in where you fit in. But ladies, there's no way that you can get past the fact that men control the relationship market. More and more men are starting to understand that. They're starting to say, wait a minute. I don't have a biological clock, so I don't need to rush, unlike women. Ladies, you got from 20 to 35. Well, technically, you know, in some cultures, once you're able to bleed, you're able to breed. But we're going to keep it PC over here. For this one event, we're going to keep it PC. But... Let's just say 1835, that's your window to find that relationship. But guess what? Men have seen the other side. So therefore, ladies, with everything that you've had to artificially boost you, mm -mm, too many men have lost everything trying to trust a woman. And the idea of, well, bro, you picked the wrong woman. Nah, that's no longer a valid way to try to shame men into getting to a relationship. You can't say that there's just a few bad apples when the entire orchard is bad. You can't. But, gentlemen, if women are starting to do this, then guess what? I would have no problem with this and neither should you neither should you because guess what that means now you can be honest you can say what you want see women have had the ability to say what they want unchallenged for decades now gentlemen guess what you can have that same ability start telling these women exactly what it is you want. But as I've always promoted, figure out your program first. Figure out your path. Remember, she's nothing but a short-term reward. That's about it. If she wants to come with you, if she wants to get on your program, cool. If not, that's cool too. I will move the hell on. Gentlemen, you gentlemen of today have so many more options available to you than I did when I was young. So utilize your options. But I find it real funny that that clip of Steve Harvey from over 11 years ago has resurfaced and so many people got mad at that clip. Ironically, it was more men who got mad at that clip than women. Why? Because Steve Harvey exposed 
the friend zone game. So many guys are still hanging out in the friend zone, hoping, and they know that that woman is using the possibility of sex to keep them there. Gentlemen, it's 2021. You don't have to do that anymore. You don't. Shoot your shot. If Lizzo could shoot her shot at Chris Evans, Captain America, then why don't you, as the everyday average man, shoot your shot at the woman that you're interested in? Hmm? Just saying. I may not like Lizzo like that, but I do admire her courage for actually shooting her shot, even though she tried to make it as a drunk text, blah, 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 blah. Listen, gentlemen, shoot your shot, take the L, and if she says, oh, I just want to be friends, cool, you make it a business relationship after that, and you tell her, okay, if I'm going to be your quote unquote friend, then I'm going to charge you for my friendship. I'm going to charge you for my time. I'm going to charge you for my attention. Period. If you want to talk to me about problems, guess what? I'm going to quote the price of a therapist and I'm going to charge you that. If you want me to help you move, I'm going to quote the charge of movers and you're going to pay me that cost. You want me to help you change a tire? I'm going to quote you for that from AAA and I'm going to charge you that. Gentlemen, no more giving away your non-sexual attention to these women. Don't do it. If she wants you to be her friend, you charge her for that friendship. Oh, that will get rid of them really quick. Real quick. But yeah, this whole honesty bombing thing, use it to your advantage. But once again, ladies, I know you're not listening to me, but the trust factor for men is gone. Men do not trust the modern woman. So all of this, you know, oh, I might want to try to, you know, get back into the good graces of men. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 Now, I have to also issue a bit of a warning. Gentlemen, if you know men who fit into these two categories, warn them. Category one, if he's collecting a pension or retirement check. Category two, if he's collecting disability. Yeah, I'm noticing women are starting to send feelers out to those guys. Yeah, yeah. And the reasoning, it's a steady source of income every month. So yeah, particularly my retired vets, you guys definitely need to be on the lookout. Hell, I myself have had a hook or two thrown my way. But nah, I let them know I'm good. And I tell women all the time, I have no need for female friends. You and I cannot be friends. You only fit into one of two categories that I've set for you. Either a gym associate or a co-worker. That way, I'm crystal clear with the women around me. So, and besides, I got my waifu for my daily use. And once a month, I'll go to the Asian massage parlor and get that itch scratched. Other than that, I don't have any desire for a woman to be in my personal life, period. But yeah, gentlemen, be on the lookout. 
women are going to definitely start trying to weasel their way back in because I'm noticing a lot of guys are starting to get the hey big head text now that things are opening up now that inflation is starting to kick in now that the liberals are really starting to see the errors of their ways and the fact that their money is not stretching as far as it used to oh yeah gentlemen oh yeah so don't be surprised when pay to play becomes legal not decriminalized but outright legal just saying but yeah read the rest of the article let me know what you guys think have you seen women start to become a little bit more amicable a little bit more cordial hell some women are actually starting to outright approach men yeah yeah interesting times that we're living in gents interesting times indeed but with that being said ladies the power will eventually go out feminism and all of the fake you know empowerment that you got via feminism will go out right along with it because in the end you have the biological clock we don't we men can actually play the waiting game and if the women who are close to us don't want to play when they age out we can always dip down younger and gentlemen do not be ashamed to age gap date if you decide to. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am.